This is The Confidence Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. In The Confidence Show, we're talking about confidence, happiness, success, purpose, and achieving your goals. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And remember, the truth is inside you. Yo, yo, what up, what up? You have tuned into The Confidence Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. Miles, what's going on, bro? Chilling, man. Just, uh... Being confident, man. Just letting, letting, letting my my experiences develop and maintain my confidence. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I do something and I survive and make it through, mm-hmm. I only get stronger. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's how you got to. That's how you got to do it. That's how you got to do it. Going on with you, man. Yeah, just out here being confident, bro. You know, it's 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 easier the more that you understand. What's going on out here? And you understand yourself. You know what I'm saying? Understand the value. Right. Understand all of this shit, man. This is what we want you, what you people to get at, man. We want, we want you guys out there. We want you ladies out there to to understand this stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but today right. we're gonna be talking about, you know, how to be happy spending tw- quality time with yourself. You know, being by yourself, just doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the reason why I, I, I even came with this topic was because, um, you know, I was at an event um, a while ago, maybe a few months ago, and this just popped in my head. And it was an event where uh, it was like a polyamorous type of event or some shit. And but it was like a, a, a like a discussion event, like a little like workshop type thing. Right. And so there was a woman there who she she was saying that there was a guy she was dating and Mm -hmm. she was like, you know, um, I usually hear from him a lot, meaning like he'll text her or call her or whatever. Right. But then she said like, he'll probably call her like almost every day. Right. And then she said, but there'll be some days where he wouldn't like, you know, hit her up or text her or whatever. And then he was, she was like, even sometimes she would text him, but then, you know, he wouldn't text her until like the the next morning or whatever. And she said, it'll be shit like, you know, he was asleep. Cause she'll text. She'll wait for him to text her. He wouldn't text her the whole day. She'll probably text him like around midnight, one o'clock. And then he'll probably text her when he gets up in the morning. Right. But she said that on the days he doesn't text her, she would fucking, you know, get upset and be, and just start crying. You, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm. And like mm-hmm. uncontrollable crying for like for like a, like an hour or so. Like she said, she just would be upset and crying and all this other stuff, right? And see, and she said she would just feel that way. And she's like, but you know, because I haven't heard from him, and I, you know, I want to talk to you, and I, I just want to talk to him every day, and blah blah blah. And see, this is the thing that happens with a lot of people is that they get so attached to 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 people, and they get so attached to dealing with people, and they think that. Um, their happiness lies with having to be with people. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. They think it has to, like, it's like, oh, well, you know, I need this person or whatever. But the funny part is, is that, you know, I always tell people, you you were okay before you met this person, right? You was living your life, right. doing your thing. Everything was cool. So so you were, you were good before this even person, you know, came into your life. So it's it's an illusion to think that, you need this person to be happy because you you basically deluded yourself into thinking that you need this person to be happy. But what happens is that you got so attached to this person that you've tricked yourself into thinking that you can't be happy without this person. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that you got to understand that you need to learn how to be happy just by yourself. You understand? And just being by yourself. Because the thing is, is that, You know, you can't rely on anybody else. I don't care if it's your brother, sister, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, best friend, whatever. You can't rely on anybody else to, you know, make you happy or to give you a sense of well-being or to, or to, you know, for you to enjoy yourself. You understand at any given time, because there are going to be times where you're by yourself, You understand? And you're just, you know, alone, you know, maybe you might live by yourself or you may be in just in a situation where you're not around anybody. You're not hanging out with anyone for that day for whatever reason. And you have no choice but to be by yourself. So how do you how do you deal with that, especially if you're the type of person who's used to being around people? You understand what I'm saying? 
And and that's the right. thing because you have some people who they're used to being by themselves and they're they're cool with it because that's that's sort of like what they've been used to um for a long time. You know, they might live by themselves. Let's say they may not have a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. And they may have a friend here or there, but they don't hang out with them every day. So a lot of the times they're just by themselves. So they're used to that. The problem is you have people who um, haven't been by themselves. And, I, I'm, and I'm the type of person like this because this is it, the funny part. If I think about it, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, I've been with someone since I was like, like consistently since I was probably like in high school. You understand? Like it wasn't the same mm-hmm. person as far as a relationship, but I've constantly had like girlfriends and women that I've been with consistently for, for since I was like, you know, maybe like 15, 16, you know, and I'm 38 years old now. You feel what I'm saying? So there's times where me being by myself in certain situations felt weird because I, I was old, even if it was just a day, it could just be 24 hours and it felt weird. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm so used to having someone around me. You understand what I'm saying? And so that'll happen a lot of times when you're when you're so used to being around people and and all this other stuff that when you are by yourself, it feels funny. It feels weird. It feels uh, unsettling. So but the thing is, is that you have to learn how to, um, you know, be happy being by yourself, because what's going to happen is there are going to be times where you it just happens you have no choice and then you you don't want to be sitting there feeling depressed or feeling crazy or feeling weird because you are by yourself you understand what i'm saying and so you got to be able to to navigate that and then you have some people who love being by themselves you know what i mean so they're just like hey i just love this shit this shit is great i'm just and you know and so it's it's one of those things where you 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 should be able to know how to balance all of it out to where you can you're you're feeling good being by yourself and you can feel good being with other people. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, right. and, and that type of stuff. But, uh, but Miles, what's your thoughts on all that? Well, I'm one of those people who like being alone. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? I, 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 I really like being alone. I, um, I'm, I'm not a loner per se. I like, you know, spending time with people too, Right. but I'm one of those people. I really enjoy my alone time. You right. know what I mean? Like I'm so cool with, you know, <laughs> it's so. It's gonna sound. It's gonna sound kind of weird, but mm. I, like a lot of time, I I kind I talk to myself. Right, right. Like, sometimes I sometimes I think of funny shit and I laugh, mm. and I fucking have a like. You ever you ever you ever like see something on TV mm. and you fucking you call your friends and mm. or you, you 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 next time you see your friend you discuss that funny thing you saw on TV right. and you basically have like a whole conversation talking about how funny it is and you right. kind of repeat it and you say the joke over and over again and you mm-hmm. both laugh about it. Right. I'm through conversations like that with myself, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'll watch something on TV or something and mm-hmm. then hours later I'm in the shower and I'll repeat the joke to myself. Right. And I'll start speaking aloud, analyzing the joke and talking about how interesting and funny it is and, and I would repeat it and laugh. And it sounds like I'm crazy. I know. I, I You know, I get it. Right. But it's like I, you know, I've always been my own best friend. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. and it's not, and it's not really like I'm, I'm an introvert or you know I'm, I have issues with dealing with other people. But there's a part of me that I actually like. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like I, I appreciate my own sense of humor, and I appreciate the things that I like. I appreciate you know just having that like, um. I don't know that like just that playfulness with myself. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and honestly, I feel like it makes me a better person to other people. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so when I when I when I'm actually spending time with other people, it really doesn't take that much to have a good time with me. Right? You understand what I'm right. saying? Right. Because I've, 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 I've already I already have that playful, humorous nature with myself concerning mm-hmm. certain things. So when I'm actually conversing with people and and meeting new, especially even with with, with new people, mm-hmm. you know, like all like I just I, uh, most of the time I kind of you know I click I click right. with a lot of people, right. you know what I mean? And and for and for the people who are you know are uh, also subscribed to to our other show, the uh, Bad Boy Show, where we talk about you know meeting girls and this that and the third, mm-hmm. you know, take take note of that, like because 
a big part of, you know, your issues with dating and this, that, and the third is the fact that you, you kind of, you kind of not, you, you kind of don't know how to have fun with yourself. Right. So if you, if you have a hard time having fun with yourself, how are you going to try to bring somebody new into the mix? Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's something, and because, it, and I always, always tell people this, you know, because um, every once in a while, like I'll, I'll meet a chick or I'll meet a, I'll meet somebody or whatever. And, you know, I'll tell them my age. I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm 38. Mm. And, and they'd be like, oh, so how many kids do you have? And I'm like, I, I don't have any kids. Right. And they'd be like, uh, and they'd be like, are you married? I'm like, no, I'm not married. Right. They're like, wait, you're 38, you don't have kids and you're not married? Don't you get lonely? Right. And right, I said, right. <laughs> and I always say to them, I'm like, no, mm-hmm. I know. I, I, listen to me. I never get lonely. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. I'm alone. I never, I've never been lonely in my life. Right. You understand? Right. right There's right. a difference between being alone mm-hmm. and being lonely. Right. Okay. Facts. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I mm-hmm. can, I yo, I can sit in the room and and chill all day, no mm-hmm. problem, no problem. Like I'm the type of person. Sometimes I sing. I fucking like I said. I go. I go over things that are funny to me. Like. I, it, it's like I enjoy, enjoy enjoying things. Right. Do you understand right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like my because I'm because I'm really big on 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 gratefulness and being grateful and just right. appreciating things, little things, big things. It doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to say is my gratefulness extends to the point where I enjoy enjoying things. Right. So when I'm when I'm when I'm in, when I'm watching a movie or I'm listening to a comedy thing or I'm watching a video on YouTube or I'm reading a book or reading an article or it's like I have fun having fun. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where it's like it's like my my um my level of you know fondness for myself and being by myself is 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 compounded mm-hmm. because you know how some people in order for them to be alone. They have to. They have to have something that takes their mind off of the fact that they're alone. Right. You understand exactly, what I'm saying? Right. Right. I, I'm not one of those people. I'm not mm-hmm. one of those people. I don't need to be distracted about the fact that I'm alone. Right. I. I fucking. I. I get into being alone. I get into mm-hmm. it. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. Um. So you know. So I, I. I mean, everybody's different, but I'm just explaining the type of person I am. Right. Um. But yeah, you know, like I said, I'm. I'm alone, but I've never been lonely in my life, man. I've right. never been lonely in my life. I um I enjoy I enjoy life and I enjoy myself as a person, you know, and like I said, those things those things, you know, I believe those things actually those things actually help you in, in relating to other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um I, and, and and it's funny because I, I was, you know, to prepare for the show and everything, I looked up this this um this article online and it's called seven ways spending time alone will change your life. Mm. And sure enough, one, of, one of the, um, one of the thing, one of the, one of the first things it tells you is 